them. So my day, Shadrach will introduce and allow kindly the members of the fourth estate, let those beneficiaries, that judgment, tell you how they are elected and how they are excited and how they are happy that they will be in the ballot. Because these young men are not afford a degree. My son, who is doing law, is almost paying almost 10 million. So where will these guys get 10 million to get a degree for them to be MCS? Shut up. Up to, you know, a degree or a degree qualification, especially in view of our social economic backgrounds, where we have people from different social backgrounds. As a matter of fact, in as much as we want to claim that we are an equal society, statistics tell us that there are some regions that that its people do not have more than two or three degrees in almost a whole constituency. So the nullification of that requirement by, by Justice Anthony Mrima is in itself one thing that we celebrate as Sharia Mutani. With us, we have come with some of the aspirants who had wished to thank the Honorable Court in its person, but who we have advised against that because it is really not possible for them to go and approach the court and thank them. But they can speak for themselves. We have persons from Kayole. We have uh, John Kamau. We have a number of individuals from Madare where Sharia Mutani has its basis or its offices. And it will be a good occasion. Even as we celebrate the win for the constitutional democracy, it is also a win for the Kenyan youths who have for years been unable to get access to education because our parents did not have high resources or money to take all of us to school. Some of us, including myself, is a great beneficiary of the CDF, a great beneficiary of the scholarships and even the hand of the Law Society of Kenya that sponsored my education and the, the, the deeds by Mr. Dan Stanomari. So were it not for these individuals, probably I will also be in the category of individuals who do not have a degree. And as I said it before, in another different forum before I invite the other people to also say us a word or two, Every time we get an opportunity of getting to what we thought to be a dream, every time our tables are expanded, it is also an opportunity for us to also think about the people who do not have the same leverage or advantage as us. So that those ones who have gotten degrees through probably scholarships and through other, other means, it is important that we also think of other people who do not have that opportunity. And in closing, I must say, we are not saying that education is in itself a bad thing. No. As a matter of fact, I concede that education will even make a leader better to his society. But in view of the circumstances of the society that we have today, a government that has never provided education, at least free and accessible for all, to the levels of a secondary school qualification and a degree level, it is bad to have a law that refrains or restrains people who want to participate in the leadership of this country on the basis that they do not have a, a degree requirement. So in itself, this thing, even as we celebrate today, we also want to encourage the government to put in measures in place that will ensure that we have free and accessible education for the youth and everybody else at the secondary level and at the postgraduate or the degree level.